Welcome to Thought for the Day for the 22nd of March. Um, I'm going to read to you John 11, 28 to 44 from the NIV version and then just say a few words. And after she had said this, she went back and called her sister Mary aside. The teacher is here, she said, and is asking for you. When Mary heard this, she got up quickly and went to him. Now Jesus had not yet entered the village, but was still at the place where Martha had met him. When the Jews who had been with Mary in the house comforting her noticed how quickly she got up and went out, they followed her, supposing she was going to the tomb to mourn there. When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. Where have you laid him? he asked. Come and see, Lord, they replied. Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, see how he loved him. But some of them said, could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Jesus, once more deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time there is a bad odour, for he has been there for four days. Then Jesus said, did I not tell you that if you believed you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I know that you always hear me. But I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hand, hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, take off the grave clothes and let him go. So this is the very well-known story of Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. Jesus, sorry, Lazarus and his sisters, Martha and Mary, are a family from Bethany near Jerusalem. They love Jesus and he them. Jesus had left Jerusalem in the previous chapter as the people had tried to stone him and were and was then in an area across the Jordan. But the sisters sent word to Jesus that Lazarus was very ill. Even so, Jesus stays where he is for two more days before setting out for Bethany. It is clear from the story that Jesus knows Lazarus is dead, but also knows that he will raise him from death. Before our passage, Martha has already uh, greeted Jesus. And with that encounter, Jesus speaks the amazing words. I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Martha then confirms her belief in him, being the Messiah, the Son of God. Martha then goes back to the village and calls Mary to come to Jesus. Mary goes quickly to see him, followed by a group of mourning friends of Lazarus. There are a couple of things that struck me about the encounters that these, these women and Jesus have that helps us in times of pain and suffering. Firstly, Mary is so open and honest about how she's feeling with Jesus. She remains reverent, she falls at his feet, but says, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. The sisters had sent for Jesus and he hadn't come in time to save their brother. I sense the pain and disappointment, perhaps even anger. I think this shows how important it is to be real with God when we are suffering, that he wants us to come to him as we are, to be open and honest with him. He can deal with it. Secondly, Jesus himself joins Mary and the others in their pain and suffering. The shortest verse in the Bible, Jesus wept, showing how he loved the man who died. 
and also those who were grieving and joins them in their grief, even though he knows he will raise Lazarus back to life. This reminds me of the C.S. Lewis's book, The Silver Chair. The old but much loved king of Narnia dies. The two children from our world were brought there by Aslan to rescue the king's son from an evil witch. They saw them reunited but the king dies soon after. The children are so terribly sad. They turn to Aslan to ask him why and see tears in his eyes too and realise his love for the king. Aslan then asks the boy to pierce his paw with a thorn. Aslan's blood mixes with water that flows over the king's over the king and brings him to new life. C.S. Lewis paints a lovely picture of love and the hope of resurrection through the blood of Christ. There's been much pain and suffering over the past year. Fear of death, fear of loss, actual death and loss of loved ones. It just helps me to know that God loves them as much as we do that he joins us in the sadness and the pain, but gives us a hope we can hold on to by faith of resurrection and life.